take a look at this. Imagine being this happy about owning a 20-year-old vehicle. So how does it feel to be back in the back? That's uh, great. Let me tell you, and I couldn't have done it without the help of the residents here of Kelowna. So thank you so much, guys. James Cox has been trying to survive on the streets and shelters of Kelowna for many years, but now he's riding in his very own van. And that's your setup back there? Yeah. You still don't have a home. This is your home. This is my home. Yeah. And I tell you, whatever way those two rubber things on the front point, is the way we go. Castanet spoke to James Cox in March of 2023 after he told us his dream was to own a van that he could live in. Seven months later, he's the proud owner of an older model Chrysler Caravan. I don't know if you're getting close to giving up, but you get to a place where I you, was. Yeah, I was, but I wasn't going to let it get the best of me. Because, you, for one, you, you got to need to want change. And this fella here wants change, and by golly, I did it. Cox says he won't miss the shelters, but he will miss the staff. Well, it's... It's nice not being there anymore because it's some of the some people can not be very nice. Um, I miss the staff tremendously because those guys were just wonderful to have them there for you when you needed them. But again, it's really nice to be out of the shelter. Cox says he plans to park in areas where sleeping in a vehicle overnight is allowed, and he hopes to get some winter tires before the snow flies. I park on a street where it's allowed right. overnight, so yeah. I don't get in, I don't get a parking ticket, and I don't get any trouble. Or so, would you say is just getting baby steps a little better? Yeah, they're getting a bigger stride too. Nice, <laughs> it's perfect, man. I love it. Cox says he loves the independence the van gives him. He feels safer, and he says his mental health has also improved. In fact, he says sometimes he just sits in his van and cries tears of joy. Rob Gibson, Castanet News, Kelowna.